Hey gang, welcome back to the Basement Funhouse, or as I'm referring to it right now, the Basement of Unfinished Projects. And this is the one project I wanted to get done by Thanksgiving. I've been thinking about it all year, but I've been working on other things because the weather's been better. What is it? Well, this is a messy workbench. And on the messy workbench is an LED strip. These are the cheap LEDs, um, multicolored, red, green, and blue, that uh, you can, they come from China. And I don't know if I got this off of Amazon or eBay or wherever, but it didn't cost me hardly anything. And it came in a bag kind of like this. Super light! Uh, part of it was you get this remote control. You get this little um, infrared receiver that goes into like a little controller here. And on it, um, so you can use the, the thing to do some pre-made patterns that are all controlled within the controller. Other than that, it's just an infrared receiver and a remote, which could be used for other things. Right now, the LEDs are being controlled by this Arduino here and this mess of messy wires. There are two, um, this, and this is, I should say, my first uh, attempt at uh, pulse width modulation, PWM. I'm not using real transistors because I'm basically I'm a hack. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm using these little boards that also came off of eBay, which you can't really see because it's probably not focusing. If I get under the fluorescent light, no, I just won't focus. Um, but I'll tell you what it says uh, on the of the pins that are. Let me just put it down, and then you can see the pins that are sticking up at the top here. Those are your um, your signal in uh, well, from left to right ground um, this voltage like 5 volts and your signal in on or off uh, basically your analog input. And you've got your uh, uh, transistor I say transformer I meant transistor over here and on the the left uh, screw down lugs, uh, that's your voltage in 12 volts in this particular case because these uh, these LEDs take tw run on 12 volts and as we all know the Arduino runs on 5. The, on the right that's your voltage going out um, to the LEDs and I'm powering it off of a single power supply which is kind of like laying over here in my box. It's running over here to right about here and it's got a couple of alligator clips on it and a probe from the from my multimeter wedged into the center so I can um, so I can get at the positive and negative so anyway that voltage is feeding into both this um, I'll call it transistor board and this transistor board over here. One is for the red, one's for the green. I don't remember which one's which. I think the close one here is for the red, if I remember right. The, if you look real closely, the, um, on the LEDs, they have, two, and they have two ends conveniently located side by side right here, those little plugs. Um, this, I know, is a ground, um, which is going over here to that alligator clip, which is going to the ground to both of these boards but um, there's also individual wires for red green and blue and the reason I'm using the Arduino is I didn't want the blue so I'm just uh, fading in the red and when it get from 0 to 255 when it gets, hits 255 it fades back down and um, when it hits zero, then the green fades in. Um, one thing I've discovered is that it doesn't appear to be a lin linear uh, progression because I was trying to fade in the red, or as I fade out the green and fade in the green as I fade out the red, vice versa and all that stuff. But it just, uh, it looked weird. Like it just wasn't the effect I was going for. So finally I just did it when 
So in the red, uh, all the way bright, all the way dim, then the green, all the way bright, all the way dim. And it goes fast enough that there's not really any significant downtime in between. So, um, so even though I'm doing it on a linear scale, the apparent brightness is not linear. There's probably a reason for that. But right now, Christmas is coming, and the idea is uh, to put this strip around the top of my cubicle at work. Uh, so this is step one. Step two is going to be to take this mess here and compact it down into a project box. And I'm not going to be running it off an Arduino. I'm going to be running it off the Adafruit Trinket Pro, which, as I understand it, for all intents and purposes, is the same thing as the Arduino Uno that I've got here. So I'll show you that in part two, which that may be another week. It's Sunday night now at about a quarter till 10 p.m., so that will be coming. And then finally I'll show you part three where it's up in my cube, which hopefully will be around Thanksgiving time. So anyway, this is what it's doing in the example code. Um, I based it all off the fade example that came with the Arduino uh, IDE. So, so that's um, I could post it, and I might eventually. But for right now, I'm just going to get the video up. So, anyway, that's it. Um, try it yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.